All right, everybody. Can you hear me tonight? Hopefully tonight's uh, hopefully tonight sound works a little bit better. Sorry for those issues yesterday, but today we are going to do something a little bit different. Last night we played match day one for Swansea, Swansea Denver, and if you didn't watch that video, you should go back and watch it because that was really fun. And I know that. There might have been some mistakes. There might have been some, um, well, it's a, it's a learning experience. Match day one was always going to be kind of crazy. And it turned out to be kind of crazy fun. So uh, that's what happened last night. And I thought about doing the instant results from last night as well. But ran out of time. It got pretty late. And so we didn't end up doing that. But that's what I'm going to do here tonight. So the instant results chart, I have it up there. And you can see I put the dice roller in the middle of the screen so that we can all view the results at the same time. And I've also come up with a way, and it's kind of based off something I saw in, I think it was, it was either a YouTube forum or, not a YouTube forum, a Delphi forum or a... Or it was the play, uh, the play form on Facebook. I can't remember where I saw it first, but I saw it because I knew I would forget about it, and I copied it down. And I've kind of tweaked it for my own purposes. But um, we're gonna try and attribute goals and goal scorers as well on this here uh, simulation. We'll see. Uh, that's really the only stats I want to track as far as other teams go. Since we're going to instant results these things, I'm not going to track, you know, fouls for fouls committed or whatever, but I'm going to try and co uh, track goals and assists. So we'll see how that works. So in match day one, if you forget, we have, and I'll show you my schedule here. Excuse my primitive graphics, but uh, I printed everything out in the hopes that this would work. We've got, um, we saw already that Swansea Denver played against Sporting Kansas City. So we're going to run through this whole match day one. Chicago Fire at home to Seattle. Toronto at home to Vancouver. Portland hosts Orlando. LA Galaxy uh, with FC Dallas. The New York Derby, New York Red Bulls versus a New York City FC. Salt Lake against San Jose. Home team of New England versus Colorado. Philadelphia against Montreal. Minnesota and Columbus. And we saw my game. And then Atlanta hosts Houston. So I'm going to write the scores on the schedule. I'm going to look and see on this chart over here whether or not it was a routine win, an upset win, or a draw, and then get our amount of goals we need to be scored. And then we'll attribute some goals and assists that way. So this has been fun, and we will get rolling here soon. I was um, watching some soccer earlier, LA versus uh, Orlando, and that was a fun game. That uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic put in some work. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with Chicago Fire hosting Seattle Sounders. And the way I'm going to do it, I don't have a D100, but I've got my two D10s here. One's a percentile and one is the regular standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them. This is the tens digit and this is the ones digit. So it's going to be 53. Another example, this is 61. Another example, this is 6. So the 10 on here is a 0. And let's say that was a 0. Well, that would be 100. You can't roll a 0, so that would be 100. If we rolled this, it would be a 1. Anything with this 10 here, 10 here well, hold on. We've got a 0 here and a 10. That doesn't make sense. Let me grab my other one. I don't want to mess that up, so I'll grab my other one. That way we don't confuse anybody. And 
I'll make it a different color that way we can differentiate them. I know we've got a black one in here somewhere. And there we go. Okay. So we'll have to keep it straight which which die is for what color or for the tens or the ones digit. So I'm going to write it down. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to write it down on my board actually. So we'll do um, we'll do purple as the tens and black as the ones. All right. So let's try this again. Purple is the 10, so that's a 35. That's an 87, a 41. So let's see, if a 10, if it's a 10 on here and a 10 on here, or a zero on here, I guess, a zero, that would be 100. Cool. I probably should make this. Nah, we'll keep it like that. So that's a hundred. All right, now that I've confused everybody, <laughs> and we have our two D six here to do the fast action, the instant results table. So these are the dice we're gonna use, and I think now that everybody's confused, we are ready to try and go ahead and do these results. So match day one, here we go. Chicago Fire against Seattle Sounders FC. It's in Chicago, so we're going to look at Chicago versus Seattle. All right, it's 24 to 51. So 24 to 51. If we roll in between that, that's a Chicago win. If we roll above it, that's a road win for Seattle. Anything below is a draw. Oh, got to get it in the box. So purple is the ones. That's a 51, so right on the fringe of, uh, so it was 24 to 51, but Chicago is going to get the win. So the win goes to Chicago, and now we need to get the score. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've created a chart, and it's real rudimentary here, but I'll have you take a look. It's the MLS standings from 2017, the final standings, as a single table. So what I've declared is if it's a home win, which this was, Chicago, we look at Chicago's um, standings here. They were in third. If it's if the other team was in, with within plus or minus five of Chicago in the standings, it would be a routine win at home. So... One, two, three, four. It is, so that's a routine win. So then we'll look at the dice and add them up. So six with a routine win would be two to nothing. So it was two to nothing. And now we got to find some goal scorers. So Chicago gets a home win, a nice way to start the season. Two to nothing. And we'll flip to Chicago's page. And I have not done this yet, so this is going to be a test to see how long this will take. It may take a little while, but it should be fun regardless. So we're going to find Chicago's formation. And we're going to go ahead and roll some dice here. So the first goal we will roll... All right, so we need to throw a D100 to get who scored it, what position. It was 0-2, so that will be a forward that scores it. <clears throat> so we got to throw it again to see which forward would score it. It's a 29, so that's forward number one, which is Lampson. So I'm going to mark down goals. Lampson and he will have one goal now let's see if there was an assist on the goal so we'll roll this again 
and 50 50 chance for an assist we rolled above 50 so that will oh no i'm sorry the purple one is the tens so that will be an assist so let's roll this again it's an 83 which is a forward assist so we're gonna roll it again a forward assist to 47 which would be forward one but they've they're in a three five two so we probably would put polster in at the one spot on the game so polster will get the assist and i'm going to mark him down here for one assist so the first goal was scored by Lampson, assisted by Polster. And we've got to do another another goal here since they won two to nothing. So this will be a 95, which is almost actually an own goal. 96 in to 100 is an own goal, but a 95 will be a defender goal. So let's see what defender it was. That will be a 90. That was a nine. So that's 90. 90 is defender three or four. So let's roll again. That's two. So it's defender three, which would be a com. So a cam will be defender three, and he'll get the goal. So we'll check and see if there was an assist. <clears throat> excuse me and there was it will be a f midfielder assist and the midfielder will be 95 that will be either midfielder 2 or midfielder 4 and so it will be midfielder 4 which would be um, that will be Dax McCarty so McCarty is going to get the assist. And that is how we're going to do that. It's not exact. We're kind of attributing goals loosely. Not goals, more assists loosely. And goals somewhat too, depending on the formation. So that's how that's going to work. And Chicago gets a 2 to nothing win. And we will go to Toronto. And we'll do it again. So Toronto led the league last year in points. They had 69 points. So they are definitely favored. And they will take on Vancouver in match day one. And let's see, I can't really see the paper. So I'll move it over here. So Toronto versus Vancouver is a 23-56 to 56 roll. For Toronto to win so that is a 54 just barely makes it and again another close close win so Toronto does win though at home against Vancouver and let's see Vancouver was toward the no, they were, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be a routine win, and that'll be 9. So it was a 3-1 to one victory. And I paused there for a second because I feel I, I just realized there was a flaw in my um, routineness calculation because Toronto and Vancouver are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. And that would make more sense if it was a routine win. Um, so I'm going to have to rethink that. But we'll play it by feel this time and see if that works so it was three to one so we need to attribute some goals so we'll go to toronto first to get their goals and let's see so
So I'm happy that you're watching. This is Craig with RNG IDP. And we're just kind of having a chill out tonight, relaxing, attributing some goals, doing some paperwork. I don't know if you find this interesting. Uh, if you don't, if there's not a lot of response to it, then I'll take it offline and, and do it on my own. But uh, I thought you might at least want to see how it gets done. And I don't know, go from there. So Toronto, we have to do three goals for them. The first one will be a 71, which is a midfielder goal. And midfielders, there's, let's see, three of them, or excuse me, five of them for Toronto. So we'll roll it again. And it's a 55. 55 is a midfield two. So midfield two would probably be Michael Bradley. So Michael Bradley's gonna get the goal. Goal to Bradley. And I'm gonna put him at MF2, MF1, M F3, M F4, and M F5. Okay, so Bradley gets the goal. Was there an assist? 85, there was not. So goal one, there was no assist. This is goal two. It's 65. Is a midfielder scoring that goal. And we'll see which one it was. 41. That, oh, yeah, 41. That was midfielder one. So Delgado is going to get a goal. And was there an assist on this one? 17, there was. It goes to three. That's midfield. And we'll go to. Oops, I lost the die. 29, that is midfield one, but Delgado already was scoring the goal. So we'll give the assist to Vasquez. All right, the third goal for Toronto goes to 85, which is a defender. So a defender is gonna score. And it'll be 73, which is defender number two. So Drew Moore is defender one. And so two would be Zavaleta. So Zavaleta is going to get the goal. A rare goal for him, I bet. And was there an assist? 42 there was it goes to 90 which is another defender so a defender to the defender goal kind of crazy and that will be defender one so more will get the assist maybe he headed it on a corner kick drew more to his other defender a head to a head and that's an assist for him all right and so now that it, we did that one, that one went a little bit more smoothly. I'm going to number them as we go. And I just realized that <laughs> I gave a goalkeeper a goal for Chicago. Lampson is their, their goalkeeper. I was looking at that formation backwards. That's why I was kind of confused. So I'm going to go back and give not Lampson, <laughs> Nikolic will be the goal scorer for um, Chicago, not Lampson. Nikolic. He gets a goal and a calm. That goal was supposed to be to a defender. And it was defender uh, three, I believe. So we'll give that to... Um, 
Actually, I don't remember. So Akam's going to keep that one because I can't remember what it was. But Nikolic is going to get the goal from instead of Lampson. So that'll be for now. Like I said, this is all kind of kind of funky anyway. But, all right. So now we need to give Vancouver a goal. So Vancouver, they are in a 4-2-3-1. And we'll give them a 95. So that's going to be a defender goal. And defender number number 46. That is defender 1. And that is probably... We'll say Parker is defender 1. Watson, defender 2. Uh, Harvey, defender 3. And Ravinsky, Defender 4. So that's going to be Defender 1 with the goal. And so Parker. Parker will get the goal there. So goals. Parker. And was there an assist? There was. It'll go to 92 which is a defender it'll be 39 which is defender number one so Parker can't assist himself so we'll give it to Watson so another head-on-head -head, probably and Vancouver is done so a nice tidy win for Toronto three to one at home and we will move to Ken. Hey, Ken, what's up? We're just hanging out, doing some, I don't know, this is kind of a different uh, type of deal for me. This is um, instant results. So we're just hanging out, chilling. Feel free to comment, and I'll have more time on this video to get your comments and respond because we're just hanging out. So this is going to be Portland against Orlando City. Portland is at home and facing Orlando City. So Portland against Orlando. That would be a 23 to 54. So it's a 22. So that's going to be a draw, our first one. So our draw table, it's a four. So it's a one to one game. So Portland, oh, well, I should say Orlando, they come to Portland and get a nice road point. Ken is approaching the end of his first half in his Euro Club opener, Dortmund versus Real Sociedad. Alright, I'm rooting for Sociedad. Alright, one to one, so we need to attribute some goal scorers. We'll go to Portland first. And we'll roll our percentile. It's a 26, so that's going to be a forward. And let's see here. Portland. All right, so forward. 26 is the forward roll. We need to see which forward it was. That's a 13, so Fernando Adi will get the goal. And he's got one on the season. Was there an assist? 32 there was. It goes to midfield. And 78 is midfield or three. It's going to be midfielder two. So we need to attribute some midfielders. Valeri is midfielder one. Two would be Asprilla. And we'll give Blanco three, Chara four, and Guzman five. That's forward one. Um, we'll give Ori Miller D1, D2, uh, D3, and D4. Okay, so that was a goal scored by Adi and assisted to... Um, midfield one. No, I'm sorry. That was midfield two, which was Asprilla. So 
So he's got an assist. All right, so we need to give Orlando City a goal. I went and um, my legs are sore today. Played some tennis with the kids and the family. Rode some bikes today. And my legs are sore. All right, so the goal for Orlando City goes to 65, which would be a midfielder. So we need to find their, their sheet. Orlando City, they play in a 4-3-1-2. So Larian will be forward one, Rivas forward two, Barnes. We'll give Barnes midfield one. Um, Iguita midfield two, North Serino midfield three, Will Johnson midfield four. So that was the goal from a midfielder. And it's 48. So midfield, or excuse me. Yeah, midfielder two or three. It's going to be midfielder three. So that's going to be Noserino with the goal. And was there an assist? There was not. So Orlando City's goal was from Noserino. Noserino assist on that one. <laughs> and we have ourselves the LA Galaxy against the FC Dallas. All right, LA against FC Dallas. Oh, I need to look and see what the result would be. Home LA and FC Dallas is right there. So 23 to 41 for LA. And it's Oh, get in the box. A 26. So LA with a 26. That's an LA win. LA was not good against FC Dallas, which was pretty good. So visitors win. That was not routine. That was an upset. So that's going to be an eight. So a one to nothing. So, uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Home win. Home versus, yeah, so that will be an upset win for Galaxy versus Dallas. And it was a one to nothing. So Galaxy with a big win at home, one to nothing. Alba Yang, a goal at the first minute, <laughs> spec save, one to nothing, Dortmund at the half. All right, well. So Thea that still has time to come back. I'm pulling for him. And so we need to give LA who scored the game winner for the gals. Let's take take a look here. If I can find their page. There's a lot of page flipping to do this. I'm trying to maybe I should put this in a, a binder or something. And Ken says, yeah, "LOL, up to your old tricks. Uh, you should ha you should have to work with me or live with me. People at my work they just roll their eyes. And but I know when I'm not there, when I take a day off or I'm on vacation, they miss my puns. I know it. They don't have to say it with their words. I can I can feel it. <laughs> All right, who was the goal for LA? It's a 75, which is a midfielder." They're in a 4-2-3-1. So midfielder one would be Alessandrini. Uh, Botangs midfielder two. Jameson three. Uh, Jones is four. Pedro is five. San uh, Giovanni Dos Santos is four. The only forward. And we'll say Steris is D1, uh, Cold D2, Diallo D3, and Romney D4. 
Okay. So that one is to a midfielder. And a 50, or excuse me, a 15. So that's midfield one. So Alessandrini will get the goal. Alessandrini. Where did I get the um, gold decider chart for individuals? I mentioned it briefly at the start. Um, I I can't remember where I found it. It was either in the play, the play um, uh, forum, or if it it might have been on the Delphi forum. But I modified it quite a bit, and um, so I, it just kind of is kind of my own creation at this point. <laughs> so we'll see if it works. This is kind of a test. All right, so Galaxy has their goal. That's the game winner. Oh, we didn't see if it was a, an assist, did we? And it was not, so don't have to worry about that. <coughs> All right, so we are on to the New York, New York Derby. Ken might, thinks it might be useful for his massive EuroLeague replay. Well, I'll, I'll definitely, um, once we get through this first week, I'll see if it kind of works and if I need to tweak it a little bit more. But then, yeah, I'll let you guys have it. No, no problem. All right, so New York against New York. Red Bulls against New York City FC. So Red Bulls are the home team against New York City. So that is a 24 to 45 win. And it's a 23, so a draw. So that's going to be a draw. A 5 is a 1 to 1. 1 to 1 affair. So New York goes to New York and gets a draw. And we're going to do some goal scorers here. One apiece. We'll do New York City first. So, Cide. They will... Let's see. Um, if I can find it, there we go. Alright, so... Let's do this first. Ring will be M1, Morales M2, M3, Villa is obviously F1, Harrison F2, Wallace F3, um, Cayennes is D1, Sweat D2, White D3, and Chino D4. All right, here we go. Goal scorer for New York City, 82, so that's going to be a midfielder. And 22 is midfield one, so Ring is going to ring in the new <laughs> new season with a goal. Ring with his first goal. And was there an assist? 30, yes, there was. So it will go to... 91 that's a defender assist and it'll be 19 so defender one so Cayenne's peppers one in the box and ring finishes it off all right so now we need to go to the Red Bulls and the Red Bulls we have to mark them. So these up. It'll probably take less time next time. Question's gonna be mid one. Um, we'll give Felipe mid two. Adams M three. Royer M four. Moyle M five. Wright Phillips is F one. Um, we'll give Paranel D one. Um, Lawrence D2, Murillo D3, and Long D4. All right, so that is a 100. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> which is going to be an own goal. <laughs> so an own goal was what gave the Red Bulls the tie. So own goal one. We'll give that to NYC. 
And they gave New York the draw. <laughs> That's kind of funny how that worked out. All right, so a one-to-one -one draw for New York against New York with an own goal being the decider. <laughs> and we will go to Salt Lake because I refuse to call them Real. They are just Salt Lake in my world. And San Jose Earthquakes. So uh, Salt Lake, they are at home against San Jose. So I'm going to have to move this over here. And all right, so 24 to 46, and there'll be a win. That's a 66, so that's going to be a road win for uh, San Jose. So, our first road win, San Jose goes into Salt Lake and scores the victory. Was it a routine one? Salt Lake and San Jose are really close so yeah that'll be a routine and it's a 12 so five to nothing oh boy jeez five to nothing San Jose goes into Salt Lake and that doesn't hurt my feelings because screw Salt Lake <laughs> so five to nothing San Jose And we're going to have to attribute some goals here. And where'd they go? There they are. All right. So, yeah, Ken, that was kind of funny, that draw, the own goal. All right, San Jose, here we are. Let me get my dice, move these ones out of the way, and we will mark up San Jose. So Wando is forward one, Urena forward two. As far as the midfielders go, we'll go Godoy, one, Thompson, two, Seren, three, and a Defenders, Bernardes is D1, uh, Shea Salinas D2, Lima D3, and Jungworth D4. All right. So goal scoring, let's check it out. That's a 59, so that will be a midfielder. 57 is midfielder 2 or 3. It will be midfielder two with the goal. So Tommy Thompson gets the first goal. Nobody has scored more than one goal so far. And that was assisted by... Uh, Ken says, does hostile ref carry over to second half? No, it resets when you score a goal and at halftime. So 46 would be midfielder one. So Godoy will get the assist. Now we need four more. 48 is a midfielder goal again. A 63 this time. That'll be midfielder two number two or three and it's going to be Thompson again with the goal so a brace from Thompson and it was assisted by a forward no midfielder I'm sorry 26 and midfielder one so another assist from Godoy so two goals two assists Thompson and Godoy so we got a forward goal this time and it's to forward one, so Wando gets a goal. Was there an assist? There was. It goes to a midfielder. Midfielder one, that's midfielder one. So Godoy gets a third assist on the day. 
And that's one, so another forward goal. And it was a Z2, which is forward number two. So Urenya chips in with a goal. Was there an assist on this one? There was. It is 11, so midfield 37 is midfield one. So Godoy is broken, <laughs> and he's getting all these assists, four of them so far. And this was a 72, so that would be a midfielder goal. Midfield one. So Godoy is going to get a goal. So he can't assist on this, and there was an assist, 39, which would be a midfielder, and 32, which will be midfield 2. So that'll be, actually, we need to roll one more time. It's a 98. So Seren will get the assist. And he's got one. So what a day for Godoy. Went nuts here. He had a goal and four assists. While Thompson had two goals, Wondolowski had one, Urenia had one, and San Jose puts a whooping on Salt Lake. Five to nothing. All right, we'll move on. New England against Colorado. Let's go Rapids. New England... Versus Colorado, it's a 23 to 54, so that's a pretty big spread. Oh, it's a 15, so that's going to be a draw. Colorado doing some work here. And I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge Giants Rapids fan. And so if I'll be rooting for them while I'm playing for Swansea Denver as well. So a draw with a, a 6 is 2 to 2. So a high-scoring draw out on the road in New England. And Colorado will get hit their goals first. Goal. And assist. Okay, so the Rapids. Let's get them out. Two goals for the Rapids, and the first one will be to a forward, and that'll be forward one for Baji, and we'll give um, we'll do Saeed midfield one, Harrison midfield two, Gat midfield three, Azira midfield four, and Boateng M five five. As far as defenders, Schuberg, one, um, Ford, two, Miller, three, and Williams, D, four. Okay. So it was a Ford roll, and that's going to be to Baji. So Baji's going to get a goal here. His first on the season. Was there an assist? There was not. The second goal going to a defender. So a defender with a goal. And it's 63, which is defender number two. So Courtney Ford getting the goal. And was there an assist? There was not. So two goals, no assists. And the Rapids got a road point. Let's go to New England. I didn't think this, this um, video was going to take that long. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you do, let me know some feedback. Whether or not you want to see this going forward. Or you want to just have me do this offline. And maybe give an update, a quick update afterward as to what happened or if you like seeing the process 
Uh, an 11 is a forward goal, so we're going to give a forward the goal here, but let's attribute it to, let's do the positions first. Um, we'll do midfield 1, midfield 2, midfield 3, midfield 4. We'll give M1, or excuse me, D1, D2. Two, D three, and D four. Okay, so it's going to be a forward. It'll be fifty four, which is forward number two. So Lee Nguyen. He gets a goal. Was there an assist? It's a four, so there was. Forty two is a midfielder. And 44 is midfield one, so Agudelo with the assist. His first on the season. The second goal is going to 23, a forward. 58 will be forward number two, so Win scores a brace. Was there an assist? Yep, it goes to... 85, which is a forward, and it'll be forward number one. So Kamara, Kai Kamara gets the assists. And so we've got that match done. And now we've got one, two, three left. Three left on the schedule. And we will return to our update page. And this will be Philadelphia against Montreal. Philadelphia and Montreal. That is a 24-53 to 53, uh, victory for Philly. So it's a 16. And that's going to be a draw as well. So Montreal goes into Philly and gets a draw. And that will be another 2-2. Two 2-2 to two. Two to two score. And we'll do my, uh, Philadelphia's goals first. The Union. Ken Castro used a strategy card prior to an attack and rolled a six, leaving defense out of position, which led to subsequent goal by Pischek. That was crazy. Two to nothing Dortmund. Oh, I think you're cheating here now, Castro. Because <laughs> I'm rooting for Sociedad. <laughs> <laughs> I have not done the uh, strategy cards yet, and I don't know that I'm going to. Um, I they look cool, and I've I uh, have used them like in a game I played um, played versus somebody else. I used them, and I liked them, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to play with the dice having more involvement in this simulation. I don't know. I may change my mind, but so far that's how I feel. So Philly again says, I'm not Al. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so the goal for Philly, actually, that's, a, that's an 81. So that's going to be a defend, nope, midfielder. But we need to do this first. CJ Sapong, forward one. Um... Let's do midfield one, Pontius or Picolt, do M2, M3, M4, M5, we'll say D1, D2, D3, and D4. Okay, so 81 is a midfield goal. And it's going to seven, which is midfield number one. So Il Signo scores the goal. And was there an assist? There was not. Goal number two goes to 65, which is a midfielder. And 77, which is midfielder two or three. It's midfielder two, so that was Picault, Picol. 
And was there an assist? 54, there was not. Okay, so now we'll go to Montreal. Olympic Montreal. Pardon my terrible French accent. I took French in the fourth grade. And it was a very immersive French class. I went to a private school, and by the end of the class, like we were, the whole class was speaking in French. We had a French day, and you had to bring food, and everybody spoke French to order their food and get around. It was pretty cool. All right, Montreal is going to have to score two goals here. And so we'll do this F1, M1. M2, um, M3, M4, M5. We'll do D1, D2, D3, and D4. D2, that was a good movie. <laughs> All right, so Montreal needs two goals. That's a forward goal. To 64, that's forward two. So there was no forward two. What that means is that's going to be a substitute. So one of the subs is going to get a goal. And I'm going to have to look. This was the part where I was kind of hoping I could do this offline because the to have to look at the starting 11 and then look at the cards to get a substitute goal. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say sub forward. And I'll attribute that one later. I'll go back and find that one and do that later. So the second goal, actually, was there an assist? 53, no. So goal number two is to a forward, and that is to sub number two as well. So that sub scored two goals. So we're going to actually, you know what, because they scored two goals, I'm going to find it because that's pretty cool. And if I had these in any kind of order, that'd be helpful. <laughs> I just have a big giant box full of these uh, cards for the season. And let's see. San Jose. All the ones that look the same. San Jose. And so we're looking for Montreal. Is that it? That is. Okay, cool. So Montreal, let's take their cards out. And we've got Piatti's in the starting 11. We are not looking for anything else other than a forward. And I think I found it. So it's going to be either Anthony Jackson Hamel or Matt Mateo Mancuoso. And I'm going to give it to Jackson Hamel. Because his shot is a four star shot. So he would be first bench. So Jackson Hamel scores a pair of goals bench and gave Montreal the 2-2 two to two draw alright two more games and we'll be done here and we will have match day one done so the next game is Minnesota in their debut against Columbus Crew SC so Minnesota against Columbus 23-36 to 36. that's not good it's a 36 <laughs> So Montreal, or excuse me, Minnesota gets the win at home. And that would be, let's see here, Minnesota was not good against Columbus. That's an upset win. Oops. 
That was a 36, so that's a 9. That's a 3-1 to one win. Good work for Minnesota. Minnesota. And we will go to Minnesota's page. Actually, we'll do Columbus's first. Real Sociedad makes it 2-1. to one. That's going to be an exciting finish, Ken. Hopefully... And I'm, hopefully I'm not spoiling anything, but hopefully it's a, an exciting finish like I had last night. Go back and watch that game. That was cool. All right, so Columbus. They've got a forward. A midfield one, midfield two, M3, M4, M5. Um, uh, D1, D2, D3, D4. Okay. So, Columbus, let's see who scores. Oh, wait, that's going to be a Ford. And we'll see which one. It's a 19, so forward one, so Kamara... Gets a goal. Was there an assist? There was not. Kamara did it himself. Second goal. Well, they didn't have a second goal. <laughs> so Columbus, their one goal is scored by Kamara. And we'll go to Minnesota. Ken, yes, you were there for last night. The first half and second half started off slow. And then late, we had some action. I was disheartened. <laughs> Minnesota, they've got a forward, mid one, mid two, mid three, M4, M5, um, D1, D2, D3, and D4. Okay, so who scored the goals for Minnesota, all three of them? 86! That's a defender that scores. 96. <laughs> that is defender 4 or 5. So defender 5, which there wasn't one. So that's a sub. So a sub defender scores for Minnesota. And I'm going to have to break out the cards for Minnesota to look for that. And we'll see. We'll see if I do that now. If I can find them really quickly, I'll do that. This will go quicker as the time goes along because... I'm marking down if they were subs or not, so I'll know for the next time who were subs and whatnot. Uh, come on. Minnesota. There we go. Ken, you have to let us know these updates if Sociedad can come back. So a sub-defender... Um, let's look through these cards. Alright, so we've got a few here. Coleman is already starting. Um... I'm going to say it was probably either Michael Boxall or Jermaine Taylor. But we're going to give it to Jermaine Taylor. So Taylor scores the goal. And there was no assist. We need two more. 79 is a midfielder goal. 
37 is midfielder one, so that's going to be Ibarra. Was there an assist? 68. There was not. All right, two goals, three minutes apart. Sociedad comes back. Ha <laughs> ha. Can they get a late winner, though? We'll see. 57 is a midfielder goal here. 96 is midfield five. So Cronin gets the assist. All right. So that's two goals. We need one more. A 29 is a forward goal. And a 14 is forward one. So Ramirez puts one away. Was there an assist? There was. And it's 71. That's a forward. Forward 01. So it's a sub forward. And we'll say Ethan Finley. Finley with the assist. Okay, so we've got one more game to go in match day one. And then I'll input all my data into the, um, into the table, update the table, and I'll post the results. And I'll show you on the next match day. If you don't have a Twitter, I'll show you on the next match day. If you have Twitter, follow me, at RNGIDP. And... I'll post it there as well. One more here. Atlanta with the home debut against Houston Dynamo. So Atlanta versus Houston. That's 23 to 54. It's a 64. So Houston comes into Atlanta and gets the win. That might be an upset, actually, because Atlanta finished pretty high. They did. One, two, where is Houston? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a upset win. And a 10 upset win is a one to nothing. So Houston goes in to Atlanta and gets the one to nothing win. The goal for Houston will come from somebody. And we'll figure that out. All right. Forward one, forward two, forward three, M one, M two, M three, D one, D two, D three, and D four. Okay, so the goal is going to be 83, which is a midfielder. 41 is midfielder 1. So Alex with the goal. And was there an assist? Nope. So Alex with the game winner for Houston in Atlanta. And that'll do it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to write down the goal scores for, who was it, KC and Swansea. I should have done that last night. But I'm going to do it now so I don't lose or misplace uh, that. Let's see. Did I write down Swansea? No, I didn't. But okay. So Sporting KC, their goal last night was from Espinosa. And the assist went to Zusi. I thought I put Swansea in here, but I guess I didn't. I'm going to have to make them a page, and we'll do it here. And 
I remember who the goal was from. Vinyas. But I don't know. Was it an assist? Let's take a look because I can't remember. It was assisted by Hawkins. Cool. All right. So I guess that's going to do it for this week. Um, this I guess this match day. I shouldn't say this week because who knows when I'll play the next games. My schedule is kind of funky. But um, uh, let me know if you made it all the way to the end of this video like Ken Castro who's a champ. And hopefully his game's ending so we can find out the result before I get out of here. But um, if you made it all the way to the end of this, I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. And let me know what you think about my process, what I could do better, and um, if you like seeing this on screen or not. If not, like I said, I'll just move it off screen and do it that way and show you the quick synopsis of what happened. But um, I thought it was pretty cool, a way to chill and... Uh, talk to you and see how this went Ken Castro is in the 87th minute 2-2 two to two. well we can't just leave you on a cliffhanger like this Ken I'll wrap up while we wait for your score but I was talking to Earl and he just bought um, the uh, APA APA set and he's into it. And he's looking forward to doing something. I believe he bought the um, the EPL. Yeah, he did buy the EPL from um, the EPL set from last year. So, if you're looking for more soccer action coming up, you know uh, Tabletop Plus and Tenacious Earl is going to give you some here soon. So check him out. Uh, check out all our good friends. We got a lot of good streamers here. And a lot of people that follow along that are playing at home that um, don't stream. When I went to PlayCon, I was talking to the guys there, and everybody's playing. But only a few, a few crazy folks are streaming. And um, I don't know why we do it, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, it's really fun, and I like interacting. That's why I do it. But um, I don't know. It's just something like... What makes somebody want to stream? What makes somebody want to bring this to somebody else? I think everybody has their own individual reasons for doing so. For me, uh, I have the equipment. I have the ability to do so. And I'm going to play these games anyway, so I might as well bring you guys into what I'm doing. So that's my motivation. I like to have fun with it. I'm not looking to um, you know, make any money or go crazy. If it happens, that'd be fun. But uh, I'm enjoying my time here with Ken and Al Red Sox fan and all you guys that join me from time to time. You guys really make it fun. And I feel like I'm not just sitting here in my closet um, playing on my own. So that's, uh, that's why I do it and why I like doing it. And I appreciate all you guys for being here. So, uh, Ken, how's your game going? Is it nearing... The end. Did Sociedad make the full comeback and and win? I hope so. This will be a, a big win for them. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at my um, assist and goal chart. Kind of maybe type it up some more. I've made some some slight changes on the fly, and uh, I'll update that. And I don't know. We'll see how it works in match day two. And for a quick update, match day two, we're looking at Toronto FC has the day off. And we'll go through the schedule real quick. Orlando against New York. And New York City hosts Portland. Columbus Crew hosts Salt Lake. And Swansea, we travel to Seattle for a battle up there in Seattle. Vancouver, Vancouver plays DC United. Houston against the Revs. Sporting KC, who we drew with last week, tough, tough team. They face Minnesota. San Jose will face Atlanta. FC Dallas at home to Chicago Fire. Montreal Impact, they host Los Angeles. And the Rapids are home to Philadelphia. So, Ken Castro wrapped up a 2-2 tie. We are wrapped up here for match day one. 
Follow me on Twitter. I'll post the updated table and all the relevant information there. But uh, until match day two and until the next baseball game, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Good night.